Welcome my friends to DGX University. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to create a beat. Now don't freak out. I know lots of you have not gone this far, but I wanna challenge you to go to that next level and know your instrument a little bit more. So the first thing you need to do, are you with me? Hit the menu button. When you hit the menu button, the next thing you wanna hit is menu two. And the way to do that is by using this button over here to tab over. Now you can see Style Creator at the top left, right over there. Okay, hope you can see it. Let me make sure that you've seen everything I need you to. Okay, so right over here, Style Creator. You're gonna hit Enter, and it says, Select current style to edit the selected style or select new style to create a new style. Just follow me and hit new style by hitting the number eight. Okay, now you're in new style territory. It goes straight to rhythm. We're gonna create a new rhythm, okay? Two things you need to do. Number one, you want the metronome on so you can actually hear what's going on. Second thing you wanna do is hit sync start so that the moment you begin playing, it starts recording. But please stay with me. I'm gonna be moving the camera around so I'm apologizing in advance. You wanna make sure you know where your kick and your snare are. See? See, you gotta, you gotta know where everything is. So please excuse me as I adjust this further. I, I really wanna make sure you get it. Okay, there's your hi-hats. Or your rim shot, or this. So I'm gonna use the rim shot and the hi-hats and stuff. I'm gonna make sure the tempo is what I need it to be. Now that's too quick, so I gotta hit the, it's too quick, I gotta hit the tempo, and I gotta bring the tempo down to about maybe 80, okay? Now I'm gonna hit metronome again, that's good. And now I'm gonna hit sync start, and I'm gonna begin playing, okay? Now just watch me, I'm gonna start playing, and I want you to do the same. Two, three, let's go. Okay, so it's not bad. It's just one bar. But to make this bar pristine, I have to do something else. And in this world, we call it quantize. I have to quantize. And the way you quantize is you come down with this button, one, two, and you go over one, two, three. So two down and three across. Let me do that again. Remember where we were in the beginning? One, two, three. So I went three across, but I was three up, right? I was somewhere around here. So I came down to three, as you can see three over here, and I went across all the way to channel. So you gotta be in channel and quantize. Now with that set, all I do is hit enter. As it says here, enter to execute. Boom, execute. And that's the end of my quantization adventure. And I can just go back to record channel by hitting the one right there. Now I'm back, it's done. Even though it's still showing record, you don't wanna record, you wanna to go to the next thing, but let's play it and check it out. Okay, next we will go to bass. Hold it down for about three seconds, it turns red, but you need a bass sound. That's a piano sound. How do you select the bass sound? You go over here and you look under guitar and bass and you select the bass sound like this. Everything 
shaking because it's so loud. Or you could use slap bass. It really depends on what you want. Let's go down to slap bass. So I like slap bass. I think I'm going to use slap bass. So with slap bass selected, I'm going to exit and now I'm back here. And as usual, all I need to do is hit sync start. And remember, it's just one, two, three, four. That's all I've got. So I've got to make sure I squeeze everything I want to do into that time frame. Put the metronome on if you want. Three, let's go. That's it. Next, I'm going to hold down channel four and it goes to something else. Let's see, it says chord, chord one. I could use that. If I don't like that, I could always modify it by going over to sounds over here and selecting something else. Like if I wanted one of the DX pianos. Okay, I like funky P, let's use that instead. So exit, there we are, and as usual, you know what to do. Metronome on for guidance, sync start, and now I'm just gonna play, just vamp. That's it. And we have a style. We have a style. We could go to the next one and find like strings and just play something mellow on top. Let's exit and let's again, this time because drums are set, all you need to do is do sync start and just play. Off you go. That's it. So I could say I'm done, or I could choose to add more stuff, right? So if I wanted to add more stuff, choose what I want, find something nice. So that, exit, hit record channel if you're lost, and sync start, and let's go. That's how it's done. So I'm going to exit and then I'm going to use the save number eight. Save. Let's call it something else. Uh, use delete to delete. And I'll just say, I'll call it F A S T fast demo. Okay, with that done, I'm just going to hit OK. Now it's executing, it's saving it. When all is said and done, if I exit and I go over to any of the styles and hit user, there it is, fast D, fast demo. And all I do is hit it. And if I wanted to hear the accompaniment, all I'm going to do is play a chord and I can hear the accompaniment. But here's the deal. Because of how this is set, if you just begin recording your beat like I did, everything you did is automatically converted to C major 7th. Now this may sound like a lot of mumbo jumbo to you folks who are not into chords, but this keyboard is thinking, well, you're playing on C major seventh. 
So if you don't play C major seventh, you're not gonna hear your chords like you play them. You're gonna hear some gobbledygook. So for example, if I don't play C major seventh and I play, let's say, uh, an E major, check out what's gonna happen. <laughs> Now that ain't what I played, right? <laughs> I, I played this. And with that in mind, when you are shifting between the chords, if I'm on the key of C major seventh in its head, then I need to play chords relative to that. So I need to play like an F major seventh and a G major seventh for it to transpose the pattern logically. Start soloing on this, like this. Now, it does sound a little bit loud, so I need to go over to Mixer, and I need to work on bringing the style volume down. So I'm gonna do that. Bring it down. That's better. Now my sounds can come out. That's how some of the logic works, but I hope as far as creating your song and saving it has been of help to you. Thank you for joining me, and remember to hit like and subscribe. See you soon.